Hello everyone. We are back with, I guess, suppose another episode or another update, if you will, uh, Pastor's update. So as with last time, if you're watching at this point, you're probably watching uh, replay, but we're going to give it another minute for people to log on. And of course, with you tonight is uh, Father Cassidy Stinson and Mojo Lehman. Um, Father John has the night off. That it's sounded his... very like newscast, didn't it? Yeah. It's his day off, so I think he's out hiking. We've got eight people who have logged on so far. Hello, eight people. Hey, Crystal. Give it another minute. How's everyone doing tonight? And this is just as a reminder, you can write pretty much anything you want in the chat and we can see it as you're going. Um, and you can, you can ask us questions, anything that you wanna ask, we'll be able to get to at some point during the broadcast. So please write questions, write comments, anything you want in the chat below. Hey, Crystal. She says that we are joining them for dinner. Oh, Perfect. wonderful. Hope it's good. All right, we got some more people logging on. Give it just another minute so everyone can log on. And you'll hear me say this a couple times throughout tonight, but for those of you who, for reasons of privacy, do not have a Facebook account but are looking on with Facebook, we will be able, you can, you can email me some questions and I'll make sure that we'll answer them this weekend for you. There are many ways to get the information. We're trying to work with everyone. All right, we have almost 20 people here. Rita Murphy says, thank you for the daily mass. Except for today, because we didn't have a camera person. Yep. Sorry about that. We said mass anyhow, so we remembered you. We're still praying for you. Make sure that you, you uh, get a chance to read Deacon, um, Deacon Greg's homily. It's a, it was a wonderful homily. I got to hear it, and then I got to read it. All right, we have almost 25 people logged on, so I think we can get started. Ready to whenever, start? Whenever you want, yep. Okay, we're gonna do begin with a coronavirus prayer. It comes from the Jebbies, the Jesuits. Loving God, your desireness and our well-being, we hold in tenderness the, and prayer the collective suffering of our world at this time. We grieve precious lives lost and vulnerable lives threatened. We ache for ourselves and for our neighbors standing before an uncertain future. We pray, may love, not fear, go viral. Inspire our leaders to discern and choose wisely, aligned with the common good. Help us to practice social distancing and reveal to us new and creative ways to come together in spirit and in solidarity. Call us to profound trust in your faithful presence. For you, our God, does not abandon. And this we pray in the one who came up to live among us, the Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. All right. So whenever you're ready, we've got about 36 people and we're going up toward 40 people right now logged mm -hmm. on and watching. So we got a bunch of our parishioners here. You know, that guy really likes all that. I'd like to see the numbers grow. We're, we're boosting our numbers here. And you can, I mean, if you know people who want to watch or tune in, you can share this, by the way, on your own pages. So please feel free to do that and get it out. Um, but yeah, we're going to have our pastor's update now, so you can... Do that okay. and then get to the Q&A like before. 
Okay, your email notes, your letters, meals, tweets, comments, and likes need to keep us connected. We're humbled by your kindnesses and your generosity. Thank you. And know we will continue to do what we've always done as best we can, only now in new and creative ways. We are here for each other because that's what a parish does. By now, you should have received by email or by Facebook post the schedule for the next week, that week we aptly called Holy. If we live this week with Jesus and with his church, something powerful will happen in us and to us. We will indeed become holy. I especially call attention to the times of our Masses on Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion and on Easter Sunday morning, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. in English and 2 p.m. in Spanish. These Masses will be live streamed. On Holy Thursday, the Mass will be at 7, 7 o'clock p.m. The celebration of the Lord's Passion will be at 12 noon, not at our regular Good Friday time, which we haven't experienced, so that those who might want to join our bishop at the cathedral may do so at 3 p.m. The Great Easter Vigil, with its romp through the great stories of salvation history, will begin at 8 a.m on Holy Saturday. On this night, we especially think about our elect who would have been initiated in that service. Lord, keep them close to you. Let that be our prayer, our mantra. Lord, keep them close to you. Join us in all the church in prayer, especially for one another and for an end to this virus and its devastating effects. Tonight, I also call your attention to something the diocese will be live streaming on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday nights of next week from 6.30 p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. A special Holy Week retreat with priests and lay leaders and music from choirs from all over the diocese. There will even be activities for the whole family to do. You can participate in this special COVID time retreat in the same way that you are participating with us tonight on PC, laptop, phone, iPad, or smart TV. As they say, it's easy peasy. Expect more when it becomes available. Now don't forget, in anticipation of our Palm Sunday liturgies, again at 9, 11, and at 2 in Spanish, we will be distributing palms and the worship aid for the week and other helps for you and your family for this week. You can get your palms the same way some of you are getting your meal, curbside, in front of the church. Just drive in around the circle in front of the church, and folks will be there gloved and ready to hand you a packet, or if you prefer, pop your trunk and we'll put them in there. Again, I can't stress it loud enough, read closely what you have been given or sent. For your peace of mind, those without internet or email will receive their materials by regular mail. We want no one to feel left out. And be assured the good work you expect from this parish continues and the poor who depend on us are being served well. So what can you do? Pray. Don't forget your parish or the house of mercy and give as you are able to in these tough times. Keep the faith, hang in there, and let your light shine in this darkness. Now let's get to your questions, and again, those of you who can't comment because you're not on Facebook for privacy re issues, uh, send a question to my email, MonsignorJLayman at beadva.org, and I will answer you this weekend. We're now ready and anxious to hear from you. And just once again, tomorrow we will have um, the palms available for the drive through So if you haven't seen the information on that, you can um, look on the Facebook page and just scroll down a little bit. So now is, again, a time for you guys to write your questions. We are here for you, Q&A. 
I'm gonna move the phone a little bit closer because some people are having trouble hearing. Um, all right, good sound. Some people say good sound on their end. Yeah, make sure your volume's up. Make sure you aren't muting us. Um, Karen well, some Brown. people wish they could. <laughs> Sorry, you have to put up with us. Uh, Karen Brown asks if this week's email was sent out. What's the status on email updates going out? Uh, yes, it should have been sent out. Yeah. So should check, have gotten it yesterday. Check for that. It's on your Facebook page. Yeah. Let's see what else we have going on. Hey, Father John's back. Come and join us. We're all casual. Okay. Give me a second. I just got back from hiking. He's all sweaty. Stinky. We found our priest. But we're used to that, so it's okay. <laughs> this is just going to be a roast of Father John until he gets back. <laughs> That's what happens when you're not here. How's everyone doing? Do you have questions? Is there anything you would like us to know? Now is a great time to uh, to let us know how you're doing and what you, your thoughts and your feelings, anything goes. Are you hanging in there as families? Someone asks, how does not receiving the Eucharist during all of this work, quote unquote? Well, we have the, the prayer for spiritual communion, which uh, we need to talk about if we can put the little prayer on the... I'm uh, working on that. So we'll have, um, we're working on upgrading our live stream so that you'll have a higher quality live stream for the Triduum. Um, and part of that is we're hoping to be able to put up the prayer for spiritual communion. So I'm working on that. I'm going to try and come up with something for you guys to see it at the bottom of the screen, maybe during communion time. So, so what I think um, we'll do is before the priest even receives communion, we'll make sure it's up there so that as uh, we receive communion and the few people that are going to be helping with music and readings, that, um, that while they're receiving, you can be praying the prayer and receive with us. It's a matter of receiving the Lord by desire in our hearts. Um, let's see. This question about reconciliation. Um, so someone asked, what can they do if they can't make it into confession right now because of you know health issues and that kind yes. of thing? You know what I think we'll do is we'll get Crystal to put on um, a, a little uh, post that Pope Francis did recently, maybe about two weeks ago, about what what you can do in the time that you cannot receive uh, the sacrament of reconciliation. I think, I think we talked about that last weekend. You might want to look again at last week's post because I think that question was asked again last weekend. Joyce asks, will there be music during Holy Week and Easter Masses? Yes. The answer is yes. Uh, that and is something we've been working hard on. And on Easter Sunday, a trumpet. Whoa, that's one of our ten. Getting fancy, yeah. It's it's something we've had to do a lot of a lot of give and take on because we can only have, as you know, ten people in the church at one time. So when with you have, all the social distancing, with as well. all the social distancing, all the clergy together, so you can do the math. You can only put so many people in there. Um, but yeah, we've got a we've got an arrangement, so we should have a handful of musicians at each of the major liturgies. And we had an experience of that this morning. We. Uh, we inurned, we had a funeral mass and the inurnment of Mary Conway and her family. So there were 10 of us, including myself and Aaron. And um, so we had a, a funeral mass. Unfortunately, they were all masked um, by their choice. Uh, they come from California, they come from Texas. And so the family was all there, at least the media family. And the plan is that after this mess, we will gather again to really celebrate Mary's life with a um, with a grand celebration. She was an amazing woman of faith. Was with her last week when she died last Sunday um, and um, and then afterwards the nurses asked if I would pray with them and then went down to the emergency room as well. So she was already doing her good work as she went on to um, to her afterlife. A couple more comments in here. How are we doing? Cindy asks, are we all feeling well? 
I feel great. I feel great too. Ask Father John. He's been out hiking, so he probably feels okay. Um, I'm sweaty. Let's see. Do we have a feel for how the larger community is doing? Have we heard anything about um, our doctors and nurses? How everyone is doing? Uh, in the like I said in the prayer last week, they um, one of the nurses came up. Um, actually, the one who asked that I would join them and and, and uh, lead them in prayer. Uh, she says she felt like a weight was lifted from her. It was a very beautiful thing. And then she, I asked at the end if there was anything that we could do for them. And, you know, they said pray. And then she calls me at home last Sunday night and she says, you know, I have a great idea. Why don't we all, why don't you all um, do a ring around the hospital with candlelight? And I was working on that with the other ministers here in town when the governor said that we needed to stay at home. So it's a very sad thing. So if you can um, blast this, the two hospitals with emails just saying, we're thinking of you, we're praying for you, you're in our thoughts, um, we appreciate what you're doing, don't be shy if there's anything that we can do. One thing that they said is the restaurants were doing a really wonderful job of, um, of taking care of them for meals. And they were very appreciative of that. I have some good news for you. The prodigal son has returned. Mm. Hello. Look who I found. Hi. <laughs> With his hat on backwards. Yep. yep. Thinking he's like 12. Yep, still living the glory days. <laughs> Right. So Kathleen, to clarify one of the things we were just talking about with music, because you're asking about the choir, um, we will have uh, some choral quartets, I believe. Um, so we'll have some, some vocal pieces, some sung pieces. So it won't be a full choir, but we'll have some sung parts. And, and we will be giving you a worship aid in tomorrow's package that you get from us. So you can follow along, sing along. Um, Gross your family out with your voice. God gave it to you. Give it back. But join us in prayer and song. Let's see what else we've got. Someone says, now the musketeers are complete. Oh. Messed up some echo there. Yeah. <laughs> you might have to look off that. Yeah. Go ahead there. It's good. Helps me keep track of it. <laughs> I'd have to keep leaning way over to see what's going on. And plus get you his face right up here like this. Yeah. Bit of the cute face. Hey now. Alright. Send us more questions if you have more questions. We've answered a lot of the same kind of questions here. Or if you want to sing a solo for us, that'd be great. I'm gonna make him sing. <laughs> When and can we do the Stations of the Cross virtually? Interesting question. Mm. Um, so there's a number of online resources for the Stations of the Cross. Um, we put together, or we I think we shared something possibly through the Facebook page just in the last day or so. Uh, so double check on that. Um, and did wasn't there, aren't they gonna be putting those in some of the bags tomorrow? There's gonna be a Stations of the Cross book. I think so. So you might want to request it. You can decide if you want to answer that one. Does Father John really smell? Smell. Smell. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> misspelled. <laughs> or at least that's, that's a word I'm not aware of. Uh, no, I, well, I don't know. No, no. I can't be the judge of that, really. No. Uh, I'm going to withhold Remember St. Paul says he doesn't judge himself, so... I'll take that as a wise words justification, but I was just out hiking at the um, York River State Park for most of the afternoon, which was lovely. Um, the state parks are still open, but uh, you can't you can't gather with you know people and you gotta don't, social distance. And don't bring your friends. Most of the facilities are shut down, so you gotta be prepared for that. But it was great. I went fishing out there um, on Monday. Monday. Yep caught exactly one fish. I was very proud of it. And I worked all week. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the pastor is supposed to do, right? Mm. The joys of being yeah. in charge. Um, 
Let's see if I'm mistaken. Well, during this, during this time, let me ask for your prayers. We just got a call a few minutes ago from uh, a parishioner of ours. Um, I can't remember his first name, and I'm sorry about that. Um, last name Smith and his wife Hulda, H-U-L-D-A Smith, is in ICU with the coronavirus. Um, and she was doing um, better yesterday, and today she's taken a turn for the worse. And just to remind you, um, as we can't go in until it's close, and the, the hospitals know that and will call us, and then at the same time they'll call the family. So that's when we'll join her and the family um, in, in the room. So keep Holda in your prayer. Holda Smith. All right. You guys have any more questions about how the parish is doing, about how anything's operating, anything like that? One thing is to thank you all for the, um, the your collection envelopes, for um, virtually giving. Um, uh, there's there's a kind of this great sigh of relief when there's a stack, literally a stack like this of envelopes that come in. Um, and everybody just kind of breathes a little deeper. So thank you for that. Kevin asks if we've watched any anyone else's online masses. I actually haven't really watched anyone else's. I've been celebrating my own, but. Yeah, guys... I've caught little clips here and there. Just to, I haven't really watched an entire one, but just to see, you know, how they're doing it and uh, kind of learn best practices, as it were. Uh, but I haven't really, you know, watched it for my own um, nourishment, I guess. Michael asks, are we still able to donate food? Yes, in fact, if, if you are coming for your palms tomorrow, you can bring food with you, um, and we will have the big bin right outside with us in that turnaround in front of the church. You can give your uh, donations there for food, and we'll put them in the bin and make sure that they get to the House of Mercy um, on Monday. You probably saw their post in Facebook that says we are low, uh, very low at this time. They probably average 117 bags a day of food distribution, and uh, they have en enough for Monday morning, but not many more after that. We posted some of the items that they need earlier, and you can always you know, check with House of Mercy itself uh, on their website or give them a call. Um, and if you're, able, if you're not able to um, you know, bring food physically there, you can order it online and have it delivered, or you can also just make a financial gift um, because they actually get a better rate on food purchasing Except then, the food banks, the food banks, you can get it for 19 cents a pound, but the food banks, if you, if you looked at the paper this morning, um, they're running low. So, okay. so they were really excited about being able to get a shipment. Uh, and uh, earlier in the week, that's what their plan was, but it looks like it's, um, it's becoming difficult. Okay. And where you can order is Amazon. You can order from Target. Uh, can't where. Anywhere else? I know. I mean, there's still some of the shopping apps, um, but I don't, I mean, which you could use, but that would, you know, add fees and stuff like that. But, uh. So we had a question about things being postponed for uh, like First Communion and stuff. Um, I mean, I think right now we're really just waiting to see how everything develops. Yeah. I mean, that's what in May, that's the, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Considering that the stay at home is through, so the, the is through June, June, you know, it'll be hard to do much probably before then. So everything will be rescheduled. So don't don't count on First mm -hmm. Communion, which is probably okay because grandparents probably couldn't come and all of that, depending on where they're from. So it it might be a blessing in disguise that that we have to wait till all of this is over and our country is back to itself. Someone asks if they could bring a monetary donation for House of Mercy during palm distribution. 
Monetary? Monetary donation sure, for, for, House, of Mercy? for House of Mercy. Oh, by all means. Yeah. And also, they have a really um, pretty straightforward online giving page as well if you want to give online. That's right. Yes, and you can, if you have one of their, do we have one of their envelope? I mean, do we have an envelope for House of Mercy that if they put it in our offering box in the commons? Um, you know, we can put some, we can put some um, envelopes there. Okay, yeah. Someone asks if you have horns growing out of the top of your head. No, those are my glasses. Sorry. <laughs> Last week I noticed I was playing with them the whole time, so I wanted to get make sure I wasn't going to do that this time. All right. Let's see if there are more serious questions here. How is confession being done with social distancing? As well as we can. We're a little frightened this week just because of the number of people. I mean, even, even yesterday and today, it was close to being uh, too many within the building. And we really do have to insist that if there are 10 waiting or eight waiting, let's almost oh no, six waiting, because we have to count us in there as well, uh, then we encourage you to stay outside. Now, there are gonna be two confess confessors all week and what we're going to do is use the two rooms on the ends of each of the building. So if you have to stand outside, it's gonna be pretty nice weather. So um, it's not going to be difficult for you to do that. And then when one comes out, another one can come in the building. Just keep that six foot distance. And the rooms that they're in do accommodate the the social distancing themselves. I mean, the, the rooms for confessions. So that uh, is not really an issue. There is a tendency though, because they're uh, a little more, they're a little larger, is for people to be a little more chatty. <laughs> um, yesterday there were a couple of uh, real chatty folks and um, we probably, need to kind of move them along mainly because of the weight let's see abigail renegar says she saw you at the park really yep wow cool uh let's see do you guys have any more questions i'm gonna scan back through and see if i missed anything important um but if you have more questions please write them in the comments let me see did we mention the the holy week mission the diocese yes okay, yeah cool. yep it's all in the update Mari Angelica says hello from Newport News ah. hola, hola. Como esta? <laughs> <laughs> uh, scan way back now so far we don't have anything everyone doing well we're a couple weeks into this now how's everyone holding up just as we said uh hi to maria angelica who's our um, hispanic community coordinator for the on the staff um, just so you know if we if it wasn't said already that we are maintaining a lot of uh activity in the hispanic community as well uh, Father Cassie and I both recorded reflections. Um, we're doing the live stream mass on Sunday, and we're also uh, having the pastor's update translated uh, and sent out to them. Uh, so we're we're doing our best to to keep <laughs> to keep up with them too, because a lot a lot of them are are, are uh, you know struggling um, materially as well as spiritually, just like all of us are. But some of them are a little bit more you know, uh, susceptible, perhaps, to, to difficulty in a time like this, so. Let's see. Do we have a lot of palms to give out? Yes. 6,000. We have far more palms than we probably need. Please come take them away. <laughs> and for those who may not be able to come tomorrow between 9 and 12, they will be available in the commons um, when you come in to visit all this week and beyond. 
Sasha asks, when are confessions available this week? Um, any particular, uh, are they, what are the major changes to that? <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yes, Thursday Monday, Tuesday, from Wednesday. 8 o'clock to 9.30. Uh, and uh, Friday, too. Um, unfortunately, on Friday, we have to, um, we have to be really settled on the time because I remember our service on Fridays at noon. Let's see here. Someone asked about confession, any other way, i.e. by phone, anything like that. I think we talked about that last time. Um, yeah, it's sort of the nature of the sacrament is you have to be able to at least like be more or less physically present to the person just like with any of the other sacraments. Um, so in this case, we aren't really able to do that, but as we mentioned, we're still able to offer confessions pretty much any of the normal ways. Um, we have the confessional open, so please take advantage of that while you're able, while we can continue to offer that. And again, we'll have our um, webmaster put up uh, what Pope Francis said, and and basically it is the same way as, as spiritual communion, that you desire reconciliation within your heart, and, and you are uh, contrite for what you've done, and then you do the act of contrition, and then as soon as possible, when all of this is over, we can, uh, you can come and visit the sacrament, come to the confessional. Brittany asks if we need any help passing out poems. I think we've got volunteer teams pretty much set at this right. point. Yeah. Right. We actually have to kind of set a limit on the palm, palm volunteers because we don't want too many people together, you know. And also too many people touching. Yeah. Can people pick up palms for folks that can't come out? Yes. Can they get multiple packets? If they want. If sure, they're... if you want to take them to neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if you... I mean, obviously you want to maintain sanitation and all that. Uh, but if, yeah, there's somebody who maybe can't get out, um, then that's a, that's a possibility too. Kevin was wondering if anyone's been using uh, like any of our media to do Bible studies or spiritual presentations or anything like that. Uh, there has, there has been uh, small group meetings by Zoom mainly, Alpha is meeting, uh, some of the small groups are meeting. Uh, Deacon Francis has been meeting with uh, his group at the United Methodist Church, but also um, his, his bereavement ministry. Uh, they've been meeting by Zoom. He told me that today. Some of the other Bible studies and faith formation groups are still, still meeting via Zoom and other ways too. So my recommendation would be, because we're not putting most of these through the main Facebook page, um, if there's, I would look at what is going on right now, just in terms of the larger studies and activities of the parish, and then reach out to the coordinator and just ask them if it's something you're interested in, are they still meeting or communicating? And if so, how you could be a part of that? Because chances are you could hop on one of those calls, for example. We might have to make a list available. Yeah. And you can always reach out to Janet Hassan, who's our adult faith formation coordinator. If you're looking for something uh, that would fall under that, so any kind of adult Bible study or things like that, um, or anybody else on staff who might oversee or be connected to some kind of ministry, you can always send them an email or you know, whatever, and they can get back to you and let you know if those groups are still meeting. We know a couple people have asked if we know if anyone is sick from the virus. From yes, I uh, uh, mentioned earlier, uh, Holda Smith. If you keep her in prayer, ICU coronavirus. Waiting on some more questions. If you have anything else, um, Carol Branley asks when people can come alone to the church to pray the Stations of the Cross, open hours. There, oh, in, in your schedule that you, that you either have received, no, they wouldn't have received it at home, but in the schedule that, that is on um, the Facebook page. And on the website. And on the website, uh, there are times when you can visit the church and times when you cannot. 
Um, it's all clearly laid out, all right there, right on that, that Holy Week schedule page. One thing we had to, to unfortunately be concerned about is, is the history of this particular parish and, and many other parishes who come, say for instance, for the adoration after Holy Thursday night and also the veneration of the cross um, after the service on um, Good Friday. Um, we're going to be we're going to have those virtually this year, so that we protect the 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 sheer number of people that are gathered in one room. We're sorry to have to do that, but we're really trying to keep everyone safe. Let's see. Christine asked for prayers for people with disabilities and special needs right now. We're de dependent on school and social routines. Sure. Let's see. Are our own families doing okay? From what I've heard, mine is. So far, so good here. My family's doing well. Actually, this afternoon, I was... Uh, my, my parents, a couple days ago, put out a challenge to all of my siblings and the in-laws and the nieces uh, to make a, a video with that happy song that Pharrell did a few years back. You may remember happy. that I really don't like that song, happy. but, but <laughs> my parents asked us all the individual families to make, uh, make videos uh, lip syncing to that. And, uh, you know, I'm one of seven. So anyway, the first of those went out this afternoon. And, have you uh, done your show? I have not done mine. You want us my, to help you? <laughs> I'm, we may have to. Yeah. Well, that, that would be excellent. Yeah. So my, my family is doing well. They're, uh, you know, struggling with, with the same things as everybody is, but thanks be to God, you know, everybody's, uh, everybody's healthy and nobody's been laid off yet to my knowledge. My, my flip phone has been ringing all day because they're sending all these little cartoons and memes and everything else about this coronavirus. There's some really clever um, cartoons and uh, posts uh, connected with all this, especially about parents being at home with their children, doing homeschooling. Sharing what? The video. Oh, uh... We may share that. I'll have to. Oh wow! Yeah. Make a game day decision on that one. But yeah, <laughs> I think I think we'll probably make it first and then decide if it's safe, if it's safe to decide share. Decide if it's shareable. Yeah. yeah, that would be a be a bold move. Rather be very popular, or very not. Um. All right. Do we have anything else? We've been going for almost forty five minutes. Um, one thing I'd just say is keep in mind and in your prayers and thoughts, a lot of the other parishes in our diocese that, uh, you know, don't have the large, you know, resources and um, uh, great, you know, huge staff and three priests and all these things. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of those smaller parishes, uh, especially on the rural communities, um, are, are, are struggling quite a bit um, just for survival. Um, so I just say to, you know, encourage every, all of us to keep those places in mind. Yeah, to echo that, thank you to everyone who continues to give and to support because it's a huge financial challenge for the entire diocese to not have Sunday collections, to not have activities going on. Um, so just like it is for everywhere else. So for everyone who's continuing to support the parish, like you're making a huge difference right now. So thank you for continuing to do that. And our diocese has done its part too. Um, they have, uh, they're only charging us 25% of what might usually be charged for uh, different um, activities and things like that within the parish. Um, even things like uh, pensions and, um, Cathedraticum, uh, we're, we're getting some, um, a major break from the diocese that it is able to, it's really helping our cash flow at this time. Great, all right, so we're about at 45 minutes or almost, um, 42 minutes. Do you have any closing thoughts for the good people of God? Just keep hanging in there.
Yeah. Keep, keep praying for one another. Keep saying. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for yes. all the words of encouragement. I've probably received more encouraging emails this week than like the whole rest of the time I've been at this parish put together. So thank you so much for that. Um, yes. I was really tempted to um, say in the pastor's comment that I felt like saying what Sally Field said at the 2011 Oscars when she won for Places in the Heart. She says, she stood up there and she said, you do like me, you do <laughs> like me. So we were tempted to do that, but we decided we wouldn't. <laughs> we, so. But we just did it. Yeah. We did it anyway. All for your benefit. Yep. Yeah, just say thank you. And, and um, we do like you. Yeah, we miss you. And... You know, we're thinking of you and praying for you all the time, and um, we appreciate your thoughts and prayers very much. And let us know if you need anything. You know, we're having to work around a lot of limitations, but we're still trying to provide whatever we can to support you spiritually. So just keep keep reaching out, keep asking, um, and we'll do whatever we can. So. And just a reminder that next week we will not be doing this because it's Good Friday evening. We'll be praying. We'll be praying. We should all be praying. All right, friends, I think we will wrap it up there. Um, thank you all once again for joining us, and we will check back in with you before too long through our Facebook page, through different ways. So I uh, hope to see many of you tomorrow at the Palm Pickup, and we will be joining you live stream and in prayer in the Eucharist through the Holy Week liturgies. So know of our prayers for you, and God bless. All right, peace. Peace.